Hey, this is Troy from HittingItSolid.com. Thank you for watching. I'm talking about the club head outside the hands and specifically in the takeaway backswing, this is the key move you need to make because the opposite of that is, as I set up to one here, is taking the club too far inside where that club head gets way inside your hands on the backswing. And usually what happens for most golfers, for most golfers, if you're guilty of this, if you pull it too far inside, invariably when you get to the top, you'll come down steep, which is exactly what you don't want. Ideally, what I'd like to see you do, club outside the hands, up to the top, and then be able to shallow the club on a really good path through the golf ball. So why do you struggle to get the club head outside the hands? Well, for me, most golfers, not hinging properly. I'd like to see you hinge more up like this rather than hinging back, which sucks the club inside. So definitely want to feel like you're hinging more up. Need to make sure that lead arm is not rolling over and rotating this forearm. If I make a swing, and this lead forearm rolls too much, I'll suck it inside again, and I won't be able to keep the club head outside the hand. So really important, as the club comes away, that forearm doesn't over rotate, and we get a little bit of hinge up, and you're fine, you should be able to comfortably keep that club head outside your hands. Another key is making sure this right or trail arm doesn't bend too quickly, that will pull the club inside. Try to feel like you keep that trail arm a little bit straighter as you make that, that move there up to the top. Try to keep it a bit straighter, at least to about this point here. It doesn't have to be locked out straight, but feel like it's a bit straighter. And that will really help with that backswing as well. And a great feel I've found for you to get this right is really focus on this elbow, this lead elbow on the backswing. If you can feel like that lead elbow is pointing more towards the ground as you make your backswing, you see it's pointing towards the ball there, just towards the ground and at the top. If you do that, you shouldn't have too many problems keeping that club head outside your hand. So if I keep that elbow pointing towards the ground, I should be able to make a pretty good back swing, which then sets up my down swing. Because what keeping the club head outside your hands does, why it's important, helps keep your golf swing on plane. And when you keep it on plane, you've got a great chance of making a really good swing. And you'll see as I draw a plane line here, what I'd like to see you do is as you make your swing, keep that club on that plane line for as long as possible and it'll gradually come off it as you make your back swing. If we set up here and if we pull that club too low, we'll get off that plane line straight away. A lot of problems from there in your golf swing. If you can relate to any of these things, drop a comment down below. I'd like to hear what you've done to fix your issue. If you've struggled to keep the club head outside your hands, drop a comment down below. I'll reply to every single one of them. Now, the other thing that will help you out is really doing the opposite and exaggerating, feeling like instead of that wrist pulling in like this, feel like it's, it remains a lot flatter. So as you make your takeaway, Really exaggerate it and feel like it remains a lot flatter on the way back. Almost not exaggerated like a Matt Wolf who does something like that, but just taking it straight back and keeping that right wrist a lot flatter. And that will really help you with that takeaway through to the rest of the backswing. And a great drill you can do, I've found, is to stick the club in your belly button. I'll show you from the other angle. Grip it about halfway down and make a back swing. When I do that, you'll see I can keep that club head outside the hands really easily. And that really gives you a great feel 
for how this move should work. Everything moves in one piece. You've no doubt heard of a one piece takeaway. This is a great way to practice it. To keep that swing on a really good plane. And regardless of where you're at in your game right now, even if you're struggling, hitting them fat, hitting them thin, you can fix this really quickly just by practicing these keys and get your backswing on a really nice plane. I'll do one nice and slow. Club head outside the hands, up to the top. And through. Practice that at home and then work your way up to doing a drill like that where you pause at the top. Get to the top, pause there, and then just through. You'll find you'll be able to make a bigger back, a better backswing, I should say, which will lead to a better downswing and help you play better golf. Now, I've got a video coming up that will help you even further. It's talking about the backswing and how you can make a shorter backswing and still generate plenty of power. So make sure you watch it. It's coming up.